Hi, Neil Evans, back here with the Hard and Tech team. I'm gonna go over blocks. To start off with, we've developed and rebranded some of our T2 blocks as fly blocks. The fly blocks are us listening to our customers. The small foiling bolts like moths and the some of the catamarans and trimarans that are out there now require very high load blocks because of different loading factors and it's a new world. So what we developed was off of our lash on line out of our carbo blocks, the T2 line, we've developed this fly line of blocks. The 40 and the 29 have stainless steel shivs on stainless steel bearings, which give them tremendously high working loads um, in a very light, compact package that can be lashed on. Like I stated in the last video, lashing on is a great way to do blocks because one, it's a very solid connection, and two, it allows the block to articulate and move to the load so that the load is always fair going through the block. There's no side loading, there's no twisting where that can happen with a metal shackle or a fixed block. The T18, which is now the Fly18, mm -hmm. is essentially the same block, it's just been rebranded but this was a very high load block to start with that was following in this line. So it's just, we've changed it. They, the T18 still comes with the lashing line. The 40s and the 29s do not. The reason for that is a lot of times they're a custom installation and every sailor has their own variety of way that they would like to attach it. One of the reasons for naming them the fly blocks was obviously the flying hull bolts, like I mentioned, the moths and the foiling bolts, but also because they're quite often literally flying in a system. They're in cascaded veins where there's multiple blocks making up a system and these blocks are just free hanging in that system. Though these blocks were designed for foiling bolts, it's, they aren't limited to it. We're finding more and more of our customers are finding real innovative ways to use these. Again, because they're a small package and they're very high loads, they fit well into a cascaded system. Control systems on bolts from J70s up to probably TP52s could use these in different control systems. This 40, because of the stainless steel shiv and bearing system in it, has a working load of 1,435 pounds. Uh, the 29 has a working load of 770 pounds. The 18, the T18, which is our tiny, tiny little block, has a working load of 275 pounds. So again, super high strength and a super light, compact package designed to float and be highly efficient.